So the mother feels that poly students don't have a bright future. <laughs> Just say. <laughs> okay guys, I have a question today about school. Do you all think academic education is important in order to be smart? I think to a certain extent. No? I mean that is one of the measures uh, to, to show how, how knowledgeable you are in certain things. But <clears throat> definitely there's an argument to be made that there's other place that you are better in. You know? There's other like let's say um, arts or let's say like in games or whatever. Uh, there's, there's okay, but you mentioned about arts, right? Yeah. There are art schools also. Mm, yeah. So mm. let's, let's, let's assume you're talking about art specifically. So, would you say that in order to be good at art, it is important to go to art school as compared to experiencing yourself and learning from the ground I on your own? I feel that it is, it is uh, important, but it doesn't decide whether you are smart or not. Okay. Because I, I feel that okay, uh, going to school and like, institutes right, okay, gives you like mm. an environment to be in, gives mm-hmm. you a system to be in, gives you a... A, uh, talk, a, 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 a place mm-hmm. to you know, go and study, go and learn and stuff like that. And then that is when you decide what you want and what you don't want. As in like, okay. to, to take in. Uh, and what you, what, what you learn through all this environment. So I feel, if that is not the case, you don't have all this environment, mm-hmm. you might not have enough uh, variables to go and play around, to go and mm-hmm. realise what you have. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I feel like it is important, but it doesn't decide whether you are smart or not. Does that make sense? Okay, so uh, the value in, in your opinion, uh, the value that this academia provides is giving options, and allowing you to understand the options mm, mm. better than if you didn't have the academia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Because some would say that being able to understand the options also constitutes to smartness. Uh, mm-hmm. Right? In yeah. a sense. For but me, because if you. Wait, uh, sorry. Because when you don't have all these options, right? You have nothing to understand also. Mm-hmm. You have lesser things to understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But having lesser things to understand is different from unable to understand also. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you can still understand despite yeah. not having... Yeah, because I, I feel that okay, the understanding part right, will grow and will be nurtured if you are, giving, if you are given more options. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the more options, the better. Lo. The, yeah. So the more options, the better in grooming you to be smarter in understanding the options as well. Yes. Okay, yes. what about generally? generally? Okay, for me, la, my, my stance is, okay, let's say like smart, right? I would say basically talent. La. Mm-hmm. Like you're talented in certain things. There, there's a difference between talent and skill. Okay. Right? So I, I believe that um, a school right, is, is important to um, hone those skills, skills that, you have, that, mm. that can complement the talent mm-hmm. you have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel, yeah, I feel right, it's uh, important to have a strong foundation first. Because right, uh, I mean you take a look at like 50 years ago when education is not very, uh, or not 50 years ago, maybe like 100 years ago, education is not very well versed, right, in a lot of countries. So, but uh, then subsequently as uh, throughout the years, right, a lot of countries, they are more well developed, more more kids are actually more well educated and because of that, right, you actually see a growth in a lot of countries. That's true. Yeah, so because of that, right, so I, I think that uh, the foundation of education, right, is actually to, to build the, the bricks in the whole building, lah. So then only you proceed with uh, what I call the smart in, in other ways of... Yeah. I mean, now that you mention it, uh, because it's proven that when your literacy rate is higher, mm. and when you have more schools around, yes. literacy rate is higher, your national GDP also goes higher, yeah. everything right. overall performance is higher. So. Basically, education is the way out. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a, a solution to a lot of things. Uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So let me ask you a second question. If let's say you were in your teens, let's say 17, 18, mm. and at this point in your life when you were studying, you are forced to leave school, mm. what would your response be like? Because I like school, I really love studying, and like, um, besides studying, you have your friends, you have everything there, and if that takes away from me, I'll be devastated, I'll be damn sad. Mm. Yeah. For me, I think at this time and age, right, with the information currently, lah, and what has been proven, I feel, okay, sad is sad, yes, but it is not the end. Okay. Yeah, because people, with the information that we have on hand nowadays are really, readily available, right? We are able to make something out of it. We are able to still learn skills. We are still able to hone our, ourselves despite not going to school. So I feel that at this time of age, it is, it is okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is okay. You it say that because you're close to dropping out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so the reason why I ask this right is because there are a lot of people like Joseph, myself included, who would feel devastated if we cannot continue schooling. Mm. Uh, and one such person is a gentleman named Lochi. So Lochi. there's this young 17-year-old boy. He's a first-year student in Republic Poly. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay, so he studied for okay. almost a year and he was forced to drop out. How the come? sad part is, mm. the reason why he was forced to drop out is because of the parents. Why? Why? So his parents, um, I believe they are from Sri Lanka. Okay. Okay, at, least, at least the mother is from Sri Lanka. So the mother feels that poly students don't have a bright future. And, and then where? <laughs> where would... What are your thoughts on this? The mom's feeling. I don't know where Sri Lanka. La, but <laughs> <laughs> I will challenge any school <laughs> in Sri Lanka. <laughs> In the world, uh, I dare say every neighborhood school of ours is a school that we can be very proud of. Anywhere. I'll take on any country's schools. Did, did they state why the mom feels that way? They didn't state why, la, mm. but according to Lochi, the parents have a very olden day mentality. Yeah, so la. if not Polly, then where? Yeah. <laughs> so if not Polly, the place that the mom wants him to go to is either private aids, so she's willing to pay. Private A's mm -hmm. or international school. Also very expensive. Yeah, like you say all those old school mentality where they, they feel that A, uh, both, um, A levels is better, you go to JC is better than going to poly. I would say to a certain extent uh, because the chances of admission into uni right, is easier for JC. Mm -hmm. That is that the only reason why I feel JC is better. But the, if you talk about the people that fail JC, right, that, that go to A levels and they didn't, they didn't study well, right, they come out with nothing. But if you are you go through poly right, you, you are learning through. a skill set. No, you are learning like you are le you are straight. very subject based. Uh, like yeah. let's say uh, business yeah. marketing. They build straight into the workforce. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you if you have you come out from there, even mm -hmm. even if you don't pursue further, right, you have at least a cert to fall back on. Uh. <coughs> so how is uh, his reaction? Like like he really dropped out or? So he's very sad about this. Mm -hmm. He if let's say he wants to continue, he needs to find some kind of source to, yeah, to provide the funding. Ah. So what he has done is he has gone on Twitter and he has started a campaign. Oh. Uh, but the campaign is basically just asking people to pay him. <laughs> 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 but the, fun but the, the thing is like, all these school fees are not very expensive la, from what I know. Mm. Yeah. So apparently for him, his school fees are up to $8,000 a single year. Mm. Uh, after, after so expensive! Of, I remember yeah. my poly, uh, every SEM is uh, 1k plus. Yeah, mine is 1.4k per SEM. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. SEM 1.4. So it could it. possibly be because he not might Singapore. not be Singaporean. Uh, maybe, not like, maybe. Okay. maybe. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, 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 it's true, it's true. true. I, mm. If for not Singapore, uh, for okay, not Singaporean, right, so. it's about, yeah, it's about 4k per SEM. Mm. Mm. They don't have the government grant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, uh, if you are paying that much and you want to go to Bali, right, go to Dia Bali, please. <laughs> we are the better body. I will. I will you know, wait, 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 wait. There's a reason why you know he's from RP, right? There's a reason why he wants to go back again because he realized wow, RP is so the best body yeah, in the magnificent. <laughs> People say Woolens. <laughs> so Lochi right now he's trying to get the funds. There is at least six thousand two that he requires in mm -hmm. order to pay for the school fees right now, lah. So he's trying to get the funds. The last I checked. As of his last Twitter <coughs> update, he has collected almost $2,000. Wow. Hopefully by now, he has collected about 6000 plus. La. So what if you don't collect the... Ah, so <laughs> if he doesn't collect, of course there are two options. One is you cannot continue. The other one is the school might just allow him to. La. So I believe Republic Poly has gotten in touch with him. There is a chance they might actually see that this guy wants to study. Let's find a way to finance Ooh, it. That's good. Uh, wow. Yeah. Go Imagine he's the next like Google CEO. Uh. Wow, uh, like, yeah, you know, you know how, <laughs> yeah, you know how RP is going to have their pride or not? Mm -hmm. wow, they were like, hey, you know this... Uh, I funded this. Yeah, this CEO uh, is actually from our school, mm. you know. Yeah. Sundar Pichai used to be from Republic Poly. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, right, honestly, right, right now, right, if, if RP is helping, right, they, he... Right now, should take it as like a scholarship where he need to maintain his grade, he needs to improve on his grade, he needs to get the best result and to prove to his mother right now la, that of course, it, la, this yeah. is definitely better. I mean, it's somebody like this right, who, want, who want to study this better, right? I feel that they will do it. They will find, I hope I prove do it though. Yeah. Yeah.
So if let's say you guys you know, at the age of 17, you guys were put in this situation where your parents stopped paying for you, what would you have done? Would whoa, you be whoa. happy? Okay, no need to study. Really. <laughs> High chance. <laughs> that's the that's the I think so that will be my first initial reaction. Mm. Hey, wow, don't need to go to school. <laughs> but after that I tell you life will be boring as fuck. Mm. Like, you got no friends, you got no interaction. Then when when all your other friends are they're around you, they are, so they are like, graduated. Yeah. They have a goal, they have a goal. You feel them shitty. Yeah. Mm. Folding clothes at Cotton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>